Hi, I'm Harald Klöckner from Axalta Refinish Europe and today's paint effect topic is poor adhesion on plastic parts. There's poor adhesion of the entire coating to the plastic substrate. This issue starts often with a small imperfection like a stone chip but can expand dramatically once the paint film is damaged. But what can cause these defects? In the production process of plastic car parts, release agents are used to free plastic parts from the mold without any difficulties. These release agents can also cause adhesion problems with your finished coatings from the substrate if not removed properly before painting. Also improper cleaning, the use of an unsuitable cleaning agent or an incorrect sanding process can cause these issues. The choice of an inappropriate undercoat or product mixing and processing not in accordance with the technical data sheet can be responsible for lack of adhesion. Also cleaning with a high pressure jet cleaner too close or too early can create and cause delamination of all refinish coatings. And be honest, who uses every time an elastic or flexible additive in both the undercoat and the top coat. But this is so essential when it comes to plastic painting. Because remember, it often starts with just a stone chip. How can we prevent these issues from happening? Identify the plastic substrate correctly to ensure it can be painted in the refinished process. Before undertaking any kind of preparation work, it is vitally important that any remaining release agents are driven to the surface by tempering the plastic car part for 60 minutes at 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. Clean and sand the plastic car parts accordingly to the technical data sheet by using a suitable and recommended cleaning agent. Use an appropriate undercoat and elastify both the undercoat and top or clear coat wherever it's recommended to do so. And comply with the technical data sheets at all times. And remember, refinished plastic car parts should not be washed with a high pressure jet cleaner within the first six weeks. After this period, the nozzle must be held at a distance of no less than 30 centimeters from the object. And finally, let's see how you can fix poor adhesion on plastic car parts. You have to remove the poorly adhering paintwork by using a high pressure jet cleaner or compressed air and sanding. Recoat the plastic part by following all steps as described before and according to the relevant technical data sheets. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time in our paint effects tutorial.